Stefan, could you speak to this week's uh, practice, how it's different? Uh, feisty, is that a good word? I don't know. You tell us. Um, I think this practice, um, we had practice yesterday, and we ran less plays, but it was more quality. So I guess you talked about coaching how we're thin, but we actually weren't running as many plays. There are more quality plays. So um, ones were running versus the twos, twos versus the ones. And it was high tempo. We were getting good looks, all the looks that we could possibly get um, versus Delaware. And hopefully in the transition to that today. Coach suggested there might have been an aggressiveness that was absent in previous week's practice. Would you buy that? Uh, I don't think so. I think we're always ready to play. Uh, we're always aggressive. Um, you know, sometimes when we practice, we're ready to learn. Um, sometimes we are motion to get the best of us, but we're really all just here to practice and get better. You guys are going to see a lot of familiar faces on the other sideline. It'll be their first trip back since they've been here. Uh, is there, for all you guys, I mean, is it going to be a, an emotional experience before the game, or is that one of those things where you got out of the way last year and not really, even though it's their first trip back here? I'll pose that to both of you if you don't mind. Um, I think it's not really that big of a deal emotionally. Like, we played JMU and Coach Mines, one of their coaches, recruited me, and I didn't talk to him before the game. I mean, we both know that he's on the other side and I'm on this side, and we talk after the game, and it's mutual respect, and I think that's the same towards this game. Um, yeah, I kind of feel the same way. You know, we played them last year, and that was kind of like, I guess, where if any emotions would have happened, it would have been last year. So I think this year it's going to be just a business trip on both sides. You know, you know we're going to play the hardest, and we still have mutual respect for each other. So it's not really a, much emotion behind it. Stephon, can you talk about last week and just a good game that you had and how that came about? Um, I guess last week I just took advantage of opportunities I got. Um, usually... I'm not receiving as much as I did this week, so I just took advantage of all the opportunities I got just based on the game plan. And if my number was called, I just had to come up and perform. Is there a reason the tight end was paid perhaps more involved as a receiver? Um, not really uh, anything particular. Maybe just how the game turns out to play. When um, you get momentum, you get hot, you start, your number gets called. So pretty much how it works. Uh, Coach talked about you and Garrity perhaps playing together in, in uh, some of these packages. Uh, how do you feel about that? And how does that change what the Spiders look like on offense? Um, Will's very good. Um, yesterday at practice, he had three touchdowns. Um, he's a great player. Um, he's a great guy to be around. Um, he can perform. The grades are very high percentage-wise every week, so it should be fun. Two tight end sets. It's okay with you. It's uh, advantageous for the Spiders. Oh, yeah, I love it. More tight ends, the better. <laughs> How much of getting ready for their defense do you look back on getting ready for Richmond's defense maybe two years ago? Um, kind of similar. So I guess when I was a freshman, I did scout team. I used to play against that defense all the time. Um, knowing the coaches on their side of the ball, um, I still watch film, still prepare, watch who they play, see how they line up certain formations. Um, kind of the same, but it is fun to play against that defense. Hey, Maurice, maybe the best way to say it is that there, it could be perceived there was a touch of bad will when Coach Rocco left Richmond. I wonder if that affects the way the Spiders approach this game in his uh, perspective that there perhaps was a loss of vision here in the football program. Um, how do the Spiders feel about that? Um, you know, I don't think we really put too much thought into him leaving now. I mean, you know, he made his own decision. He did what he had to do, and we all respect that. So I think approaching this game, we really just approach it like we'd approach any other game, you know, watch the film, practice, get ready to play our best, and just go win a game. Do you, guys, you guys are aware, is there kind of a pseudo playoff atmosphere around this game? I know it's only October 6th, but given the fact that you each have a couple of losses already and how backloaded the schedules are, do you get the sense that getting this one might mean a little bit more than just it being the next one? Um, I think as far as the players and myself, I think it's just the game that we all know we have to win regardless of who we play. So there's not much of a playoff feeling around it, it's just a much of a winning feeling like we have to win this game, just like we'll have to win the next games after this. So I think this is an important game mostly because it's the next one, not just because there's any other thing behind it. What the uh Stefan, like since Saturday, has it been 
just a dreadful time being a spider just because of the score of that game or by Saturday night it's gone? Um, there's pros and cons from the game. Um, obviously the score is a definitely a con. Um, but you got to go back and learn from it. Um, regardless, it happens. So you got to either man up and learn from it or just take it as a loss. I mean, what's great about football is that it's a week-to-week -week game, so you can't really dwell on it too much. So um, we got back to work Sunday and just started preparing for next week.